So the PS4 Slim uh, model CUH2015A or 2016A, uh, they use the uh, power supply by the model number of ADP. Uh, I mean, can't read the numbers here, sorry. It's a ADP160CR, uh, and it says right here on your power supply. Um, and uh, so this is what we're gonna be, this is the uh, unit that we're gonna be replacing and it's going to fix our uh, powering up issue that we're ha having with this console. So um, I'm going to start by removing the sticker at the back here. There's a warranty sticker uh, that we're gonna have to remove. Uh, it hides a Torx T8H screw um, and we're going to be removing the sticker to access that screw so we can uh, remove the case. If you do, rem if you remove this sticker, you will lose your warranty with Sony, if you have any. So be mindful uh, of uh, when, when you're uh, doing this repair that you will lose any warranty that you have with Sony. But uh, this console's way out of warranty, so it does not matter. So we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna remove the sticker. And just remove it like so. And put it on the side. And we're going to remove the Torx T8H screw that's hiding underneath. Put that on the side here. Then we're going to lift this cover off like so. Put it on the side. Okay, and now um, this is the underside. So what we're going to do is we we need to access the power supply, which is on the other side. So we're going to have to remove the cover on the other side as well, and that you can remove by lifting from the front first, like so, and it comes off easily. Uh, we're going to be we're going to be removing these screws, all of them, on the power supply to get the power supply out. So there's two Torx T8 screws and there's four Phillips screws, and there's I believe some other screws on the other side. Oh, oh sorry, and there's uh, five sorry five Phillips screws. There's one on top that holds one of the antennas on the power supply. So we're gonna remove these bolts. comes off. Like so. Oh, and I believe, that, um, sorry, yeah, there's screws on the other side that also have to be removed to get the power supply out. Um, and I believe it is one of these bolts here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's the cover for the power supply. That would not be necessary. Uh, there is. Some of these screws have to be removed uh, to get the power supply out. Terrible design from Sony, um, as far as I'm concerned, because it seems like they did everything they could to make sure that this console was as difficult to repair as possible. So I'm removing some of these Phillips screws from the other side. I don't believe you have to remove all of them, but some of them do have to come out for the power supply to be removed. Uh, I don't know why they would do it like that, but that's how they that's how they decided to make their console oh there's maybe one or two that I missed nope it came out there you go it's the old power supply now you would want to be careful because there is a uh, connector over here that you do not want 
uh, to get ripped or anything because then uh, you're going to be in lots of trouble. So you want to be careful with the uh, with the four pin connector at the front of the power supply. You just kind of wiggle it out. Usually it's stuck in there. I don't know why it's so tight, but you wiggle it out. That's our old power supply. This is our Pookie power supply. We're going to put that on the side and we're going to put our new power supply in. Our new fast tech power supply. Um, we're going to install the connector at the front first. Connector goes in like so. I'm going to tuck it in nicely. Line it up. Push down. Readjust the antenna. Oh, sorry, no, the longer one's going here. Uh, Phillips, top. it over put the Phillips screws in that we removed from the other side again I don't know why they would do that why um, power supply would be held in by small Phillips screws on the other side as well but it to me I think it just it's just that they don't want this thing to be easily repairable I'm gonna do another video where I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the disk drive on these and literally to get to the disk drive you have to remove the motherboard and the uh, Basically everything has to come out of the console just to get to the disk drive. And you don't have to remove all these Phillips screws. Um, I just removed some extra ones because I'm still, even myself, I'm still new to working on slims. Most of the consoles that we get are still the older ones. We're starting to get more slims now as time goes on and as obviously as these things run out of warranty. But uh, yeah, so all the screws are back in. We're going to install the cover back on. Like so. Like that. The top for the top, the back goes in first, and then the front just clicks in. Super easy. Put the Torx screw back in on the back. Factory sticker back on if you like. And there you go, it's uh, as easy as that. I'm gonna plug it in shortly to show you guys that it works. And uh, it wasn't super difficult, probably took me 10 minutes. Um, and uh, yeah, let's plug it in. Okay, so now we're gonna test the console, we're gonna turn it on. And looks like it works. We have power. And uh, looks like another successful repair from FastTech. Stay tuned, guys. Uh, like our videos, subscribe, and uh, comment. Thank you.